Matt here from the Nintendo Switch Joe, and I'm bringing you another review. Uh, just quick disclaimer: this um, review code was provided by a PR company or the developers. I'm not 100% uh, sure because um, Tim passed on to me. But just a quick disclaimer there that it was provided to us. And the game I am reviewing this week is Mr. Shifty. Um, recently came to the eShop. It's also on Steam. So again, uh, yes, yeah, so it's come come to the uh, Switch. Uh, it sort of um, reminds me of Hotline Miami um, with a mixture of the scene in X Men 2 where at the start where you play as Nightcrawler and um, where you go for the uh, spoilers for X Men 2. Um, go, uh, Nightcrawler goes through the White House and teleports and takes out all the guards. Basically, like that. So the style of graphics is sort of like um, Hotline Miami, so it's not like the 8 bit sort of style, but it reminds me a bit of that. With the you with the mixture of like Nightcrawler, where you sort of play as a character like him, where you can teleport, um, basically around the environment. So you teleport, go behind enemies, take him out. With, you know, you can punch and kick him, pick up items, hit him. The enemies have got like pistols, shotguns, machine guns. Like the weapons, you know, get you know bigger and better throughout the games. But you got to like shift and be a bit shifty to get around them and stuff. But, you know, the game's got 18 stages, um, so it's actually quite short, um, so, so it's that. Well, I started playing it yesterday, like I said, it's uh, um, relatively short, and when I first started playing, I put a tweet out to Tiny Build and that from my personal Twitter. This game's awesome, you know, this is the first, mu you know, sort of must-have eShop title. That was playing from the first couple of levels, then when you get to about chapter 10 or 12 the sort of novelty wears out a bit because he's doing the same sort of thing you know the enemies get new you know guns and stuff which is cool but you know it doesn't really change the gameplay there's puzzles involved there's like one of the stages i think i want to say four or five where there's a load of enemies if you go around them you can find a panel and then you can set off lasers that kill all the enemies in one go and then you know there's bits like um, like a speed run bit, or well, not speed run, but you know set off alarm and you got to try to get out there as quick as possible. The enemy's coming, so you got to like shift and um, you know shift at the right time to the right places. So it's quite interesting, but the novelty like wears out after a while. So the game is short, but it doesn't do much apart from that one premise. So you know it's, it's a really odd one. Um, it's not that expensive. Then still isn't that many games on the eShop. There's a few, but you know, it depends what you like. If you don't like JRPGs, you're not going to buy I Am Satsuna. If you don't like racing games, you're not going to buy Fast RMX. So you want something a little bit different. It's not a platformer in the traditional sense of like a Snake Pass or even a Shovel Knight 2D platformer. It does try to do something quite clever and interesting. So for that, you know, it's worth having a, maybe a quick look at. It is on Steam as well. I don't know if that's cheaper or if there's a demo or anything on the Steam, Steam store. You know, worth trying. The only one issue is the frame rate. This is apparently there's a patch coming. They might even patch by now. Uh, on, and I had issues myself yesterday, so I don't know if the update has gone live because I did see it on Tidy Build's um, YouTube video showing off um, the Switch in tabletop mode, like, like Switch update gameplay or something like that, it says. Um, played that yesterday. There's a few issues with the frame rate um, when there's loads of enemies on screen and you're shifting all over the place trying to take them out. You know, it gets a bit sort of choppy at that. But you know, I think it's two guys made the game, or not many at all. So yeah, so quite interesting. You know, not bad, not a bad game, not brilliant. It's, you know, it's like a you know, sort of middle of a road. If you're looking for something to play on your Switch, it is worth looking. But if you've got something ready to play, most probably don't go out your way to get this. So, yeah, so I've been uh, Massive Das, and I'll see you again.